Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get to all three layers of thermal paste on the Nintendo Switch OLED. Let's get started. So first thing we got to do is remove this back shell. We're going to start with Y00 screwdriver, and that's these two screws at the bottom underneath the kickstand. Once those are removed, you can switch to 00 Phillips, and we're going to go to the top two screws on both sides. I am going to stop there to show you that those screws are different. The top screw only has half threads, while the bottom is full thread. Just keep that in mind. Go to the other side. Now that those are out, we can go to the bottom and there's two screws, one on either side of the charge port. And one on top. Now that all those screws are removed, you're gonna lift the kickstand and you're gonna grab this corner. There's little plastic tabs that are holding this on. So I just like to grab this corner and just start pulling up. Just do it lightly, you don't wanna break any of those tabs. And that'll pull that away. Now that the back plate is off, we're down to this metal shield. We have to remove all the screws in here. We're gonna just go around. One here with so underneath this antenna cable, there's one screw, so we got to remove those. For that, I like to just grab a little plastic pry tool, pick that up. These, this tape, I have removed before. That's why it's so easy. For me, you're going to have to pry up on it a little bit more. Just kind of get those guys off to the side. Okay, now we can remove that screw. This is just going to flip up and there's gonna be some resistance because your first thermal paste is right here, but it's gonna swing up and you'll see you got thermal paste right there. So this is a different type of thermal paste. I have just used standard to replace this and haven't had any issues, but just so you know, this is a little bit different. It's a little bit thicker. All right, now that that's up, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so that the light doesn't get affected by that shininess there. Okay. First thing we're gonna do, disconnect the battery. Once that's disconnected, we can start getting to the next layers. So I'm actually gonna remove this board first. This is the SD card slot, headphone jack, and game card slot all on one board. And there's just a single screw underneath this white little sticker. And once you remove that screw, this will just lift out. And you'll see there's a surface mount. There's a surface mount connector right there. Okay, once that's out, now we have access to the three screws holding on this heat pipe. That's gonna get us to our next level. So you're gonna lift this heat pipe up here. So you just wanna get underneath it. Again, there will be some suction because there's some thermal paste there. But you just wanna Try and pry this bad boy up. There we go. And then this whole thing will, will lift out, but it is stuck down in here. There's some, some adhes adhesive in there. But you just kind of lift it up, and there's your second location. So right on this copper shield, and right on the heat bottom of the heat pipe, okay? Now, third is underneath this little metal uh, shield, underneath the copper, is actually where the chip is so to get this off is not easy what you're going to look for is on the sides here all along this is little tabs 
for me, what works best is I grab a very small flathead and just try and pry it up very lightly. And you just got to go around the entire thing and just push on where those little tabs are and lightly lift up. Obviously, be very careful because you got a metal screwdriver and you're on a board. If one gives you trouble, just move to another one. And eventually, you'll get enough of them up that you can slide it off. This one's giving me a lot of trouble. All right, let's try and move on. All right, see, now that I've got this whole side off, it just allows me to lift up. And that is your third spot. So you've got the chip actually down there, and you've got the roll paste there. Obviously, you'll be able to put that on there. If you're cleaning this up, you're going to want to use isopropyl alcohol and some Q-tips. Just be very careful. Obviously, there's a lot of small components there. All right, let me put it back together. This is just going to snap back into place. Then we can put our heat pipe back in place. So again, we're just going to slot it into that top spot and then drop it down. The three screws back in. And then you've got your daughter board here with the game card slot headphone jack and SD, that's just going to drop into place. So you're going to line it up to where it needs to be. And then I just like to push on this spot right here. And you'll you'll feel it go in. And you see that's that's secure now. Put our one screw in. Top right hand corner. And then optional if you want to put that little sticker back on. I'm here so I will. Maybe get the sticky side down. Pretty sure I've moved, removed that so many times it doesn't want to stick back down, but it's not really necessary, it's fine. Now we can reconnect the battery. Once the battery's reconnected, we can flip this shield back into place. Just watch out for these antennas. That'll just set into place. And now we can put all the screws back into this metal plate. Reinstall the antennas. And to put the antenna back in, just kind of move it into place over top of the connector and then push down. This is where some, t some tweezers might come in handy. All right, now we can put this back cover back on. So be careful with this back cover. There's all these little plastic pieces where the speaker grill is, and you can tell like I've already done some damage to it, uh, peeling back that dust cover as well as breaking some of the tabs. You just wanna kinda push it into place here. And then once that's in the bottom, you can push it in everywhere else. And sometimes it gets stuck on the side like that. You just got to find that groove where the hinge goes. So just kind of move it around. 
until it gets into the right spot. And now we can put the screws back into the shell. Going back to the two screws for the rail, you've got the top screw has only half threads and the bottom one or the middle one has full threads. So just when you're putting them back in, remember that. And for the screws underneath the kickstand, we're going to flip back to our double zero Y. And that's it, guys. All three locations for the thermal paste and the switch OLED. As this system ages, you're going to want to be swapping out that thermal paste and putting new stuff on there to keep those temperatures down. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.